Let's turn in depth to the military situation. Retired Lieutenant General Russell Honoré, who served 37 years in the Army, including commanding Joint Tax Force Katrina after the hurricane hit New Orleans in 2005. He joins me now with his expertise. General, nearly all of the Russian forces assembled to invade Ukraine are engaged now. They've shot more than 600 missiles into the country, yet we keep on seeing pictures of broken down vehicles, convoys being ambushed and captured, Russian troops hungry and demoralized. Many are surprised by what they're being told to do and by the resistance they're facing from Ukrainians. How big of a factor is Russian morale and competency in this military campaign going forward? Well, the good morale has a factor, and it's a combat multiplier. And uh, I'm glad to see they're having morale problems. I'm glad to see they're having supply problems. Oh, that's good. Uh, you know, you I was at Katrina for six weeks. Most of my 37 years in the Army, uh, at all level of command, was training to fight this Russian Army. The first echelon, the division reconnaissance, the second echelon and the, of the combined arms army. But we have spent in the United States an important amount of time studying this army. We have a regiment of it at the National Training Center, a replica of the Russian army. That has been our major foe, that all our weapon system has been designed around to defeat that army. And to see that Russian army uh, go in and start practicing siege warfare is a war crime, the way they're doing this. I'm glad they're having all of these problems. It goes to show what happened when you have a dictator who has directed his soldiers, we have told, into combat as a training exercise. I'm glad to see they're having all this problem and it's being made worse by the great Ukrainian patriots and their Ukrainian army who are getting some of the missiles and supplies they need to take on this Russian army. General, are they getting enough? That's kind of the question that we're all kind of asking these days. The Ukrainian army, are they getting enough equipment, ammunition, and supplies to be able to ultimately prevail in this war with Russia? Uh, as a soldiers on the front line, you never get enough. Mm. And the other thing you don't get enough is enough time. You got to work with what you got. You got to adapt and overcome. Every one of these soldiers in eight years in fighting that Russian army down there in the Donbass region, they've learned how to adapt and overcome. Uh, when they couldn't get stingers and they couldn't get javelins, they made Molotov cocktails and they put vehicles and iron blocks out the right to road. The Russian, the Ukrainian people and Ukrainian army have learned the first rule of warfare. You'll never have all you need. But so you have to adapt and overcome. You have to cheat. You had to deceive because you need to kill the enemy. And they are committed to that. And I'm very proud of the Ukrainian army and the citizen army that has been mobilized. The whole country is mobilized to defeat this Russian army. Hey, you mentioned a few minutes ago the war crimes that are being perpetrated right now in Ukraine. The United States announced today it's collecting evidence of possible war crimes by Russia in Ukraine, including alleged targeting of civilians, violating of ceasefires, and the use of cluster bombs and vacuum bombs. General, assuming the reports are true, what does Russia gain by using tactics that clearly violate international law like those, or does Putin just not care about what the consequences would be for his actions? I think the latter part, he doesn't care. He's got an objective, and that is to destroy Ukraine. He thought he could come in and tap it and overturn the government. That didn't work uh, with his uh, first echelon troops. Uh, they, they have not been as effective as he perceived, thank God, because of the good work of the people of Ukraine fighting them. Uh, I think the next step is for him to stop and use heavy artillery as well as his fighter jets and his long-range missiles to continue to degrade and to put siege warfare on the three cities, his three primary objectives. Uh, and the Ukrainian army are doing the best they can. But they'll never have all they need or they want. But they sure are doing a great job of what they have. And I hope NATO will stand up uh, and figure out how to increase their capacity in the Kuwait. You know, NATO always worry about not breaking rules. 
And every day they tell you they're not going to break a rule that 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 uh, Putin set. Hell on uh, Putin and his rules. He don't get to set the rules for the world. NATO need to stand up, figure out how to cheat and win. And what? You know what? We don't want to hear about it on television when they're sneaking jets. If they get to put them in, we don't want to hear about that. We don't want to hear about supplies ri- arriving in Ukraine. We need to stop talking about that. We talk too much about what the uh, intentions are to support Ukraine. Everybody's trying to take credit. We need to get them what they need and keep our mouths shut. Well, getting them what they need is kind of going to maybe happen with some American assistance here. We've got reports that scores of American military veterans, I just tweeted out that I heard 3,000 applications from the United States have been made by veterans who are primed to travel to Ukraine to join the war as foreign fighters against Russia. You've commanded infantry troops. You've seen war firsthand. Is that a wise move for American servicemen to be able to go over to Ukraine? we got 30 seconds, General. Uh... The government would say no. But, you know, Putin lose little green men. We don't do that because we follow the rules. But Putin took three countries while three of our presidents sat on their hands. If we can create some little green men, let them go do what they want to do and help kill these Russians. Lieutenant General Russell Honore, thank you for your insight and for being here this evening. Hi, I'm Mehdi Hassan. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more of the Mehdi Hassan show by clicking on any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thank you for watching.